All right, guys, so I've got the uh, Pixel 3 and the LG G8. You guys have been waiting for this for some reason to compare these phones, and uh, here they are. Now, I'm actually walking right now. I am walking. Just want to pan around. Take a look at uh, everything. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. And uh, you be the judge. Now, obviously, the wide-angle shot is not set up at this point, but I can turn it on. That lets you know that is the G8 over there. But I'll flip it back because the Pixel doesn't have that kind of capability. Um, you know, just looking through the viewfinder, it looks like the Pixel looks washed out and flat compared to the punchiness of the G8. But that's just a first impression. What do you guys think? All right, guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I decided to start with the cameras uh, on this comparison of the LG G8 uh, versus the Google Pixel 3. So uh, the cameras is not something that I would normally start with, but a lot of you guys wanted to know about the camera comparison between these two devices. And here's what I see. I see um, the G, now this is a matter of preference. Because uh, some people uh, in the video, I think I said something like the cameras look flat and washed out on the Pixel compared to the to the G8, and that remains to be seen. And the video quality looks flat compared to the G8's cameras, but that's just because the G8 cameras are so punchy, and you know the the auto HDR on the G8 is much better than the auto HDR that you can get on a lot of cameras. But that's not that doesn't mean that the G8 um, is doing something a heck of a lot better. It just means that it's definitely going to saturate a heck of a lot more. Uh, but I will say that the G8 camera and video compared to video on the Pixel is much more true to life. The, everything is really green like that. It's very blue and beautiful outside like that. So, uh, but it, it's a matter of preference. If you don't like a punchy look like that, you might like the flat, washed out, flat white tone of the of the Pixel 3. That's just what it is. Personally, I prefer the G8's video recording by a long shot. Now, when it comes to photos, uh, it's not so it's not so easy at that point because portrait video or portrait uh, photos on the Pixel to me still are unmatched by any other phone that I've used. And you may have others out there that you like and say are better than the Pixel. That's not something that that spread across YouTube and. Everybody's just agreeing. I'm I'm telling you from my standpoint, from where I sit, the Pixel just murders. I use this for everything portrait, like portrait mode photos. It's all Pixel, uh, and because the other ones um, they just don't stand up. My iPhones, none of them, they don't stand up to portrait on 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 the Pixel for photos. It just grabs it just right, uh, and I think the G8 does okay with portrait mode. I can adjust it afterwards, but with the Pixel, I don't have to do that. You know, I can just shoot the shot, boom, done. Uh, and, and that's just what it is. So photos, uh, I still like regular photos on this better than the Pixel 3, but I think the Pixel 3 definitely wins for portrait mode photos. Um, I didn't go too deep into the cameras with a whole bunch of different kinds of video because I think the, the G8 just really wrecks it um, with, in every possible way. The cameras are better on the G8 than the Pixel 3 for video recording hands down and that's not just the pixel that's tons of other phones the g8 is just killing it right now uh most lg phones have always done great with video so i don't need to go into too much detail about that now um let's switch gears with the hardware and design uh the hardware and design is uh and, and first i want to say thank you guys for coming on uh this is all my point of view you can disagree agree this is the norm this is how i'm doing it uh, if you don't like it, if you think the Pixel is better, then say so. That's perfectly fine. It, there's no wrong answer. This is coming from a person who has the Pixel since day one and the G8 since day one, which is, you know, not too far back, but a long time with the Pixel and um, a couple of weeks or three weeks or whatever, how long it's been with the G8. So 
hardware design. Let's start with the Challenger. Now I don't have a skin or anything on this right here, but you know, I will try to find a dark red skin, like um, a skin like this for this phone whenever it comes out. Sophie Guard, I'm really hoping that you bring out some kind of deep red skin uh, to match this so I can put it on there. That'll be great. Uh, but even with this off, uh, with this skin off, I still like the look uh, and hardware uh, of the G8 compared to the Pixel 3. Um, the they both kind of have a flat design for the camera, but the G8 is completely flat. Like it's it's flat. They both have that rear fingerprint mount mount on there. But this phone has a headphone jack uh, with the Type C, and it has much better. Um, going back to recording real quick, the microphones on here. That was all the G8 because the Pixel just was catching too much wind, and it was extremely windy day out. But I'm pretty sure you, you couldn't tell too much with the microphones from the G8 because they just do well. But uh, just the overall hardware and design of this phone, it feels really good. It's really flat on the sides, uh, and it's the elongated feel, just like the Pixel. Uh, but it's just got a little bit bigger screen, and it's not that much bigger. This is a 5.5, and this is a 6.1 inch display. Uh, and you know, this is something that is subjective, obviously, but uh, I really like how this phone is put together. But what I don't like is this button right here that you're permanently making me use. I, I disabled it, but still, you know, I, it's, I don't think it should even be there. Um, but that's just me. Now, the phone does have this cutout at the top right here. You can, you can, uh, you can like that or or dislike it uh, but it's it's a, it's a matter of um what you prefer now with me as you can see how i have mine set uh i i, I it doesn't bother me i just prefer to have it like this uh and and it's an option uh, and they don't have, as far as the, the display goes, this is a quad HD display 6.1. So it's, it's very, this display is much better than what you might hear along the internet. It's a lot better, folks. You got to see this in person and watch some videos on it. You'll love it. Uh, but 6.1 inch display, they both have like high power processors. This has 85, 855, this has 845. This, they're, you know, they're really, really good. But this one employs the 19 by 5 ratio, uh, and this has the 18 by 9. But they're still really close. Uh, there's a lot of things about this design that just feels really smooth. Uh, but there's some drawbacks, and it's that it's that um, cutout at the top, and I think that's the main complaint from people is that cutout. Now, when it comes to the the Pixel, you get this familiar design. You've got two speakers up top. Um, you know, and the difference here obviously, the Pixel has one camera. This has two on the back. And remember, they both have a finger parade. This has one on the one camera on the front, but this has two cameras on the front. And you get this 5.5 inch. And by the way, these are both P-OLED displays. Uh, so, but this one is just Quad HD, and um, very high pixel count. Uh, for those that are in, you know into that, you get a high resolution display. Uh, but the fact that they're both HDR is good. But this is HDR 10 compliant, uh, and um, it's just a thing. But you really can't tell the difference, honestly. Uh, but this this 5.5 inch display with these flanking two speakers right here destroy the sound coming from here. Now, I, that's just a part of the hardware, so I'm just, I'm just mentioning it now. You know what I'm saying? The, the speakers on here just destroy a lot of phones, but you get this nice hardware. Now, I have a skin on here, and um, under this skin, you got like this two-tone, you know how the pixel looks. Uh, it's a good looking phone, too. I, it's a good looking phone. I like it. Uh, however, you know, I just think overall design and hardware, if this had these, these dual displays or some kind of regular setup, I would really give this a 100% win. But for me, I like both of these designs. I just like the color of this phone better. That's all it is. If they would have made a red Pixel, I probably would have gave it all to the Pixel. But this is kind of a split bag for me because I really like the size of this phone. I like the size of this phone. I'm getting a little bit bigger screen. And uh, I don't have the stereo speakers, but I have a headphone jack. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of a toss up. I like both of these designs and hardwares, man. Now, switching gears just a little bit to features and options. Now, obviously, this is a Pixel. So this is only going to come with whatever options you get for stock Android. Period. That's it. With this phone, though, you know, you have things like hand ID, face ID. You know what I'm saying? You've got. 
uh, some of LG's tweaks in here with their gestures and things like that. Um, but features and options are limited on both of these. You know, they're not strong in the features and options sections, but it's strong enough for the average consumer. So, you know, it's a mixed bag with me. I like stock Android, you know, I don't know. This isn't far from stock Android. It just has a few more gestures and things like that, which isn't a big deal because I don't really use gestures anyway. Uh, but it's a balanced playing field with me. But features and options, meh. Both of them are kind of meh. But when it comes to software, that is where this phone right here is actually running like a phone should run for Android. And it's probably gonna. And this phone only has four gigs of RAM, uh, but this has six gigs of RAM, and this is a fast phone. But they didn't employ the LG skin doesn't employ the gestures uh, that I like about um, Android Pie. Now this is on Android Q, but the gestures are pretty much still the same. So you know you get this old feel from LG with their skin when it comes to the software, and that's something that I just don't like. Something as simple as doing this. See that? Look what happens when I do it over here. That's old, man. That is the old way of doing things. I don't like it. I've spoken of that already. Now, performance-wise, like I said, uh, I don't know if I said it before, you know, the Pixel pretty much is a great performer. However, it's not like wrecking the G8 when it comes to performance. Like, uh, let me open up something here. Uh, let's open up Instagram. You see what I mean? So it's not like destroying the 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 Pixel. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The Pixel's not destroying it just because it's stock Android, and performance is about the same. I and mean, this is 855 with six gigs of RAM, and this is 845 with four gigs of RAM. I mean, think about that. You see, so you don't see the difference it's when I read some of these blogs and stuff. I'm like, wow, how are they saying that it's just that much difference? Performance is the same to me. You're not going to see this big generational gap from the 845 to the 855. It's just not going to happen, you know? But to me, the LG software is better than what you hear. Again, a lot of things are always going to be better than what you would think they're going to be. If you listen to the internet, the LG software is trash. It's got boot loop and all other kind of stuff, which just isn't true, folks. That's like five years old. But those are the people riding the coattail of the internet. Get it and find out for yourself. Now, an area where um, it's not a mixed bag, but it's kind of a, a mixed playing field. This has a, a, a smaller get up in it, you know, but the, the, obviously with a bigger battery, you're gonna have a little bit better battery, but I get really good battery on, on the um, Pixel 3, probably because I don't use it that much for social media. I just watch videos on it and I make a ton of phone calls on here. Uh, but with the G8, I'm, I'm way more active with it. So, uh, but when I was very, very active with this phone full time, uh, I got maybe five, it was started off really good, but then all of a sudden it kind of leveled out to about five hours of screen on time regularly. Here, I'm at about five and a half to six and a half. And you know, things are still early on. This might settle down and obviously start to get worse battery life. But then you got battery cases and stuff like that. So battery is always going to be subjected to, to the person that's using it. So keep that in mind. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I think overall, man, um, choosing choosing one of these phones is very difficult for me because they both have features that I love. Like the stereo speakers are just great. The size of this phone is fantastic, too. But the size of this phone is fantastic, too. Price wise, the G8 wins because, well, it's cost less uh, and that's and you're getting all the latest tech but when the pixel 4 comes out it'll have the internals of the g8 and we'll see how that happens uh, we'll see what that what that's like you know uh, but you know if I had to pick one of these I'm gonna tell you to buy the g8 because it's lower in price and I'm getting the latest tech and it performs better in the camera department uh, while the speakers and things don't match the pixel and some of you guys say why don't you do a why don't you do a demonstration of it there's no need to do that this is stereo front firing speakers and putting this thing on a table or a box it's, you'll never get the gist of that sound man it's just not going to happen so you know i still give the win to the g8 though because the price is better i mean the, the pixel is an older phone now. the pixel 4 is ready to come out so i'll be sure to come back and compare it to the pixel 4 because you might sell it also more fair match jay
you should be comparing this to the Pixel 4. Nonetheless, I give the win to the G8 for screen, um, the, the cameras, the battery, performance is on par, you know, the price, the G8. What do you guys think, man? I'm not just favoring the G8 either. The, you, know, you, you know, if I still had my Mate 20X, I don't think the G8, that, I think that's a extremely, I, I might have to just buy me another. I've been waiting to, for the price to go down some more. I've been price checking like every day for the Mate 20X. Uh, but, you know, I think that, uh, we're not gonna get into it. It's your man Jay, right now the G8 is the winner.